Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I'm so happy that you came to hang out with me today. I have a package that I have been waiting to open for three weeks-ish. It's actually a gift to myself. <laughs> um, if you've been here for a while, you know I like to treat myself every now and then and over Christmas um, and my kids' birthdays, I absolutely was not buying a lot of stuff for myself, which is good. I learned some new healthy habits that I'm going to continue on into the next year. Um, I will talk about that soon. I'm just letting the dust settle first and then we'll discuss the money thing. But um, I'm excited to share that with you guys too, actually. But before Curtis and I made some new plans for our bank accounts, okay, um, I treated myself. <laughs> it had been so long and I got myself some Sephora goodies. Listen, there were multiple occasions, multiple times over the month of December that I would go on the Sephora website. Like, I don't even know how many times I did this, okay? I'd go on the Sephora website, I would pick the things that I wanted slash thought I needed and put them in my cart and thought about it. Thought about it. Looked at how much it was with tax, talked myself out of it, okay? Multiple times, multiple times. And um, it was after Christmas and it was like, Boxing Day sale week or something or like New Year, blah, blah, blah. I can't exactly remember what deal I got into, but I got into a deal and I spent some money on myself. Um, this is for self-care, okay? Not that I need to justify anything, um, but I don't know if it's stress, y'all. I don't know what it is. Trust me, I have doctor's appointments on doctor's appointments scheduled. Um, we're taking care of me. Okay. Um, but for right now, I want to take care of my face. I don't know if you can tell I'm wearing a lot of makeup today. I don't normally, um, I don't have a full coverage foundation or anything, but like we have things covered. I am breaking out and it is not my favorite thing in the world, but it's not the end of the world either. Um, I just, you know, want to try to be like more accepting of myself, which is a good thing, right? Um, it's difficult, not gonna lie. It's difficult, but that's what we have makeup for, right? Um, also, I, they're actually painful. Okay, like it's, I honestly think it's my PCOS. That's what I think is um, kind of kicking my ass at the moment, um, but that's okay. We're gonna, things are happening. And that's that. Um, but I, I, I do rely on some products that really do help with my combination skin. So basically, that's what I wanted to buy. Um, but then, like, I got myself a couple extra things, and I don't know for sure. I know I got a lip gloss, maybe more than one, maybe because honestly, what I did. Let me just let me clear the air. What I did was drop a whole bunch of things in my cart and then I felt very guilty and I was like no 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 okay well yes you need this you don't need this you can get this because it's on sale like the justifications that go on up here and you want to know what's sad it's not just about online shopping <laughs> it's not <laughs> the bargaining the the de the wheeling and dealing of my brain is in so many areas of my life and now that you know that, if you do that too, <laughs> that's why we're both crazy, right? <laughs> I joke, I joke. Um, let's get into this. I am literally only filming this video today because I wanted to open this box. I honestly, I really didn't want to make a video today, but I've been waiting to open this box for so long and I am completely out of the Glam Glow Clay, I don't know if it's Clay, Glam Glow Deep Pore kind of mask thing that um, I buy all the time because it honestly helps my skin so much. I've been out of it for like a week 
and I've been trying my other masks that I have and they can't compare. They can't compare. So I know I bought a big kahuna size of that. So I just had to open the package and I didn't want to like, I knew I could make a video with this and like say hi to you guys. Um, if you've been a loyal friend, then you know, um, you know, there's more going on right now. Um, a lot of important things going on right now and not a lot of things are being shared online right now. Um, but I still do want to stay in contact. So I, I knew I could make a video with this. So I was like, just make the video, Miranda. It's okay. You don't need to edit it today. It's all right. Listen, the wheeling and dealing. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's get into this. I honestly, I deserve to be spoiled every once in a while, even if I have to do it myself. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget about you. Christmas is over, honey. <laughs> Ooh, I like the way this looks. <gasps> Look at this full box, you guys. Amazing. Amazing. I'm just like, all right. This is the, oh my God. I got a gift set. Excite. Um, I got the mega size. So the biggest size, I don't think I've ever bought the biggest size of this because it's so expensive. Like it pains me. It pains me to spend this over a hundred dollars. Like it pains me. Um, but I've, I've rebought this time and again, like the last time, the last few times that I bought it, I bought like the medium size. Um, but this time we just, is that a sign? <laughs> it says right there. Hello, sexy. Well, hello. <laughs> so I got the mega. Yes. This is the glam glow super mud clearing treatment. Um, oh no, I'm going to say this wrong. It looks like it's eucalyptus, but I think it's eucalyptus leaf tea oxy. I don't know. Apply a thin layer to skin, leave on for 15 to 20 minutes <laughs> or like an hour if you get bored in bed um, and you're just sitting there with TikTok and you don't want to get off your ass and go wash the shit off. Maybe that's why my skin is so dry. Could be. <laughs> um, yeah, use as a full face mask one to two or one to three times a week. So um, when I am breaking out, like in a specific area, I will use this just on that specific area. Um, it does really help if you have um, like blackheads. I don't know if that's like the official name. That's what we call them growing up. Like your pores look dirty. Like if you squeeze it, you're gonna get something coming out. That's what she said. <laughs> She hasn't gone anywhere, okay? She's still right here. Um, but yeah, this will take the oil right out of your skin. Um, if you are newlywed, if you're newlywed or you're like with a boyfriend that's new, you haven't farted in front of them yet, okay, don't do this. <laughs> don't do this in front of them because it doesn't look pretty. Okay, like the color is like a dark gray, um, but when it dries, you see every little dot of oil. It's not cute, okay? Um, so you wanna make sure that you're in love and it's reciprocated, like it's real, because it's not cute. Um, but I'm excited to have that again because I might not do full face with it, I might try to like make it last longer, um, but yeah absolutely in my like hormonal area here even my neck lately which I haven't been on camera that much so it's like <laughs> it's been kind of nice because some days I just get up and look at myself in the mirror I'm like mm -mm. <laughs> nope that face shut her down it's not happening today girl oh my heck okay um these must be what I got for my samples um, dynamic skin, Dermalogica, dynamic skin retinol serum. This literally feels like there's barely anything in there. It is, what is the point? The packaging probably costs more of that than what's inside of it. Um, green clean pharmacy, spelt like farm. Interesting. Makeup melt away cleansing balm. Oh yeah. 
Um, this was the first time that I heard of a makeup melt away. So I picked that, I guess. Um, but I also, while I was buying things for other people for Christmas, which I did from Sephora as well, and also from Shoppers Drug Mart, um, both times when I shot from those stores, I think it was like after Black Friday or on Black Friday, um, I got two big sample packs, like filled. It was a treat. And one of the things I got was this e.l.f. melt away makeup thing. I only tried it. It's downstairs in my room and it's a bigger size than this, but I'm pretty sure I got it for free in one of those packages. I was just cleaning up. I've been doing so much cleaning, you guys. Cleaning, decluttering, like my entire life was getting a makeover right now. And it's good. It's good. And by the way, I appreciate all your nice comments and people have been coming up to me in real life. Um, people that I know, people that know me and It means a lot. It means a lot. And I, we're not going to talk about that stuff because it's, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, I found it when I was decluttering and, um, I tried it the other night and I had makeup on. I was looking cute. Um, actually posted a picture on Instagram of how cute I looked and filmed a video that day, the Costco haul. I look cute. Okay. Um, I've been working really hard on myself and sometimes I'm just like, I do her. <laughs> But I had a lot of makeup on and it's an e.l.f. thing. And I know e.l.f. is like a more affordable kind of makeup. So um, definitely going forward, I will be looking for more affordable products. Um, but at the same time, quality is quality. And you do pay for what you get a lot of the time. So it's like, it's a balancing act, right? I think that's <laughs> life. Anyways, I used the e.l.f. one when I was in the bath the other night. And like put all over my face and I was like, this is fun. <laughs> because they're like, I washed my face afterwards, of course. Um, but it was just kind of nice to not like have to scrub like really well with my Olivier towelette things that I use. Um, because a lot of the makeup was like on, it almost felt like Vaseline, but it wasn't as Vaseline-y. Um, anyways, it worked really good. So great for that. And I, I'll put it to the test and see if this is way better than the e.l.f. one, because I know that's probably more expensive, but honestly, you don't need it. It's not like, it's not a need. So I don't ever think I'll buy it again at all, actually, because it, I mean, I could just, whatever, it's fine. Um, these are for my acne. This is something that I put in my cart. It was, I think it was just these two things. Oh, and some of my favorite, I have it right here beside me some of this. I am obsessed with this lip gloss. You have seen me buy this. Oh, did you even know I bought another one? No. I didn't show a lot of hauls and people were getting sick of hauls anyways. So like I have done plenty of shopping <laughs> for Christmas, especially that I did not share. Um, but I got this for myself. It's the brown one and I'm obsessed with the Summer Fridays lip balm. It's expensive, but damn, like game changer. Um, yeah, it, I think it was these two things that I especially really wanted because I was breaking out over Christmas as well. Um, I thought it was just stress related. I don't know. I have so many issues that it's like, I don't even think the doctors truly know. They just sometimes make their best guess, right? Um, I've never tried these in my life. <laughs> don't pick it, just stick it. Um, Guys, I'm a picker and uh, I I am. And I love watching those videos online. It's like the pimple popper. I'm obsessed. Like it's, it is so gross that I love it, but I really do. It's not really my fault. Um, I'm weird. <laughs> it's just satisfying to me, okay? I'm literally blushing because I know how gross that sounds. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't need to explain myself. It's okay. Um, this is a pimple patch that I don't even, if I open this, will it, I'll probably use some tonight to be honest. So it's okay if I open it. I've never used these before. I've seen multiple people use them before. It's a little tiny sticker that you put on a pimple that's about to like come out to play, right? Okay. I've never bought these before ever. I've just seen people try them on TikTok and I'm like, mm, 
influenced. <laughs> I've seen ones that are like shapes as well. So I, I don't even know. I think I just got one with the best reviews. So I'll let you know how these go. I don't even know how many I got in this pack. And I think I paid $20 for it ish. 20. Uh, that's, that's not a great value. Um, but if it works, then maybe it would be right. Um, what does it say that I even do? Is that, that's it. These acne treatment stickers use salicylic acid to penetrate pores to reduce acne pimples while helping to prevent a new acne pimple from forming. Okay. It probably won't work, but I am willing to try anything. I'm going to be 38. Like I just threw up a little bit. I'm going to be 38 years old. My skin is worse than it was when I was in high school. When I, when I was in high school, I was so active. I sweat every flipping day. Honestly, like not just because like I was sitting around. I played every sport. I really did. Um, I was the sporty spice. Absolutely. Every time. Every time. I sweat all the time. I used like Clearasil, Noxema pads, um, Oxy. Okay. Like it's not even good for my skin. My skin was great. Every once in a while, I'd have a pimple. I'd be like, Mom, I can't go to school today. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm, I'm so sick. Really, I had a pimple and I didn't want to be seen. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, now it's worse than it was then. So I don't, I, I'm just sick of this. I'm 38 almost. Like I, ugh, the things, like I got enough going on. I don't want to feel self-conscious about this. And I don't know, guys, like I, I'm not there. I'm not there. Like, yes, I make videos, but it's not because I'm perfect and have it all figured out. Like, I don't think you do either. Like, like mess and mess, we're friends. Okay. Like no one's got it all figured out. Just some people are better at pretending. Okay. Um, what is this? Oh, my God, a clay mask. I'm excited about this. I didn't even know that I ended up buying one of these. I, in those packages where I had like um, free samples, one of the things I got was this Alme, A-L, damn it, I'm dyslexic. I don't know if it's, it's not Alme. It's something else. I'll, I'll type it down here right now. <laughs> so this was a pink clay Australian mask. The sample pack had a lot in it, a lot. Um, and I actually think I got to use it full face three times. It was this like poor shrinking mask that I am not kidding you. The moment I took it off my skin, washed it off, instantly my pores were smaller. I don't think it's the placebo effect. Like I really, really, like I have pretty big pores actually. Um, and it's like, I don't like that. <laughs> it's not what I want. Um, but when I took that off, I was like, I got to buy this 100%. So I got on my phone, of course, and started Googling around, seeing where can I buy this. Um, it's not available at Sephora. Um, sometimes it's available at Shoppers Drug Mart, but sometimes they send you this place where it says, see all buying options. And it's like weird and it's not like straight through like add to cart, you know, it's sketch. Um, but then I looked at how do I actually get it here to Canada? I have to buy it like from Australia. They have their own website and everything like, damn. So it's expensive and it has to get shipped and everything. So I absolutely checked Sephora for it. Um, actually like right away. And, um, when I was going to make this purchase, I was like, let me see if something else is like that. Um, so I got this Innis free pore clearing clay mask times two with super volcanic clusters. What does that mean? Is it like the floor is lava? Anyways, I want to see what this looks like because the Australian one, it honestly is pink and it feels like total cream. This packaging is nice. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Looks like a... a baby a baby food jar <laughs> oh my heck i don't even know if they have baby food jars anymore 
when Winnie was a baby, there wasn't very many left. But when the boys were babies, oh, it was like the funnest thing I could ever buy at a grocery store it was the baby foods. I loved it so much. Okay, so this is gray. Ooh, but it, it's got the cream, okay? This is just like the pink one. So creamy. Not really any scent. Yeah, this is this is fun. Self-care, self-care. <laughs> and there's a lot in here. And a little goes a long way with that other one. So I'm assuming, sorry. I'm assuming it'll be the same thing with this. I don't know, I'm excited. This I was influenced on because everybody was talking about it on social media and it was sold out for a little while. And I haven't had a finishing spray or setting spray for a very long time. The last one I had was an e.l.f. one that I bought on Old Navy, I think. Um, but before that I had Urban Decay and like other like more expensive ones. The e.l.f. one I thought was good, but the bottle broke, um, I think shortly after I got it. So what I had been using was my um, beauty blender and I would spray my beauty blender and then kind of like blot it on my face, which I don't think is what you're supposed to do, but that's all I could do because if I squirted it on my face, like it was like, like getting one spot, it wasn't like spraying everywhere. Um, so this Charlotte Tilbury, everybody's been talking about it. So I thought, all right, girl, you go ahead. Primes and sets for up to 16 hours. Instantly lock in your look for makeup magic. That looks just applied. The packaging for this is really pretty too. Um, hold six to eight inches away. <laughs> of course I'm laughing. I can't. <laughs> away and mist over the entire face before and after? Before and after. I'm going to do it after right now. But I didn't know. Is, are all setting sprays like that? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I'm scared because like it's always. Maybe I'll do it like this first. Oh, okay, that did it. I'm gonna do my face. It smells good. It smells like a hair salon. I don't, hair salons are one of my favorite places to smell. Even when you're in the mall and you're just walking by a hair salon, I don't know why, but it's like, maybe, I probably, okay. It's probably one of those things where you smell something and then you feel a certain way. And normally when I'm at the salon, I feel happy because not only am I getting more beautifuler, I'm getting to sit down and do nothing for a little while. And I like that. Okay. This smells so good. It like, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know exactly what it smells like, but it's, it's making me feel like happy. <laughs> it smells really good. So I don't know if it did anything. I don't know, but I'm excited to try it more and maybe I'll notice something when I edit it back, but honestly, I can't really tell. Um, this is, I love a deep warm eyeshadow palette. I didn't even know I got a palette. <gasps> this is so fun. Um, create an eye look you'll love. Build natural depth and accentuate your unique features with this collection of alluring neutrals. <laughs> I do love an alluring neutral. <laughs> I actually pretty much only ever wear neutrals. I feel a little clownish. Um, it's just an insecurity. That's all it is. Some people, man... People can do makeup now. It's unbelievable what people can do with makeup. And I totally think people are friggin' sexy when they do, like, they look amazing. Could I do that to myself? Never. Because I'm not good enough. <laughs> I have a hard time just putting on friggin' eyeliner. Man, this thing was really packaged in there. Look at this. I love, oh, look, you can see. It's like inception, no. Insemination, no. Is it inception? Remember that movie, Leonardo DiCaprio? Inception, exception, whatever. 
Okay, another package. Ooh, look how pretty, guys. Okay, was it all eyeshadow or is that uh, with these? Sorry, this is boring. <laughs> What's the number one, yo? You don't tell me. What is it? Is it just eyeshadows? I don't know. Really, you can use anything anywhere. So it's completely your choice. I just wasn't sure what this one was. But this is very pretty. I love this, like, copper. I love that. This is a color that I used to wear all the time back in high school. I don't know why. I feel like I can only wear neutrals and feel normal. Like, I just... I don't know. Curtis will tease me too, you guys. He will. He will. Um, ooh, I like that. Oh, I like all of these. <laughs> Pretty. Um, I had a doctor. Um, she didn't end up delivering Cooper, but she was my OBGYN for quite a while. Um, and I'm not going to say her name. She doesn't actually, if, she is still around here, but she does a different similar thing but she doesn't deliver babies anymore but she's in like private health care now anyways she always used to wear blue glittery eyeshadow um but it was never like filling her whole lid even to here it was just like um an eyeliner and it was bright blue bright glittery blue every time um she's a beautiful woman Absolutely. I think she's only gotten prettier as she's gotten older. I haven't seen her in like 10 years, to be honest, but um, she's gorgeous. But the bright, glittery purple, no, nope, it was blue eyeshadow. Um, anytime I put a color on, he, Curtis will make a reference to that doctor. And I can't, she's got a pretty funny last name and the way we say it makes it even funnier. Anyways, um, he'll, he'll say, oh, you're, you know, he'll just tease me. And I don't, you guys know I have very thin skin, especially these days. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. This is, um, Origins Super Spot Remover Acne Treatment Gel. Yes. Oh, the self-care that is happening right now. I I don't know if these products will honestly do anything, but at least I'm working towards trying to take care of my overall health. And that includes acne health, I guess. Maybe that's weird. This smells like absolute garbage. <laughs> oh, That smells like you are in surgery and people are putting needles in you over and over again and you taste the smell. Like you, you can taste it. That is horrible. That is absolutely horrible. Acne treatment gel. Apply to clean skin, effective areas daily helps treat acne. I don't care how this smells. I will be using it. I will absolutely still try it. Um, oh, I got two, three. Okay, I got my big pack here. <laughs> you guys. Okay, these are expensive. This is my third one now. Did I lose my first one? Uh-huh. Um, but I still have my second one, and this is now... Now I think I've almost tried all of the colors. I think there's only one more color left that I haven't tried yet. I love these. Uh, what is this one called? Poppy. This one here is so good. What is it? The other one was vanilla. This is vanilla beige. I love it. I love it. But let's... <laughs> oh my heck. Let's try this one. Lip Butter Balm. I mean, just look at that applicator, okay? I'm a millennial. This looks like it's going to be so bright. Really so good for spring. I mean, look at it. Honestly, it's it's a lip gloss. See, again, with the, I don't want to feel like a clown. I cannot wear lipstick. I can't. Because number one, Curtis will not kiss me. Um, he's freaked out even by a lip gloss. Um, and he will tease me. He will absolutely tease me. And then, like, also, like, growing up, 
anywhere you go, you see women with lipstick and yes, it looks beautiful, but then sometimes like they'll drink their coffee and it will like be fading and it just, I just, it scares me. It gives me anxiety. I can't do it. But this stuff, it's like, it gives you a tiny little tint of color, but I'm telling you, it feels so good on your lips. Like amazing. And it's good for your lips. Like it actually helps my lips to not be dry. But look, that could just give a little bit more color. I love it. I love it. Curtis, if you're ever thinking of, oh, I want to buy my wife something, don't freak out when you see how much they are online. But that is a great gift. And it it's a small gift, but it's special. Okay? <laughs> okay. This. Oh, no, wait. There's one more lip gloss. What is this one even? Oh, okay. This one's a little bit cheaper. This one, I think, is $10 cheaper than those ones. What is it? La Neige Glowy Lip Balm. Um, I should really... Well, let me show you what's in here, and then I'll wipe this stuff off and try the other one. But anyways, let's get into this. I will try this. I just don't really want to wipe this off because it's so pretty. This, you guys, this I bought before um but i bought the nighttime routine i can't remember exactly how much i paid for this one um this one might have been a little bit more than the nighttime routine box set um i think i think it must have been a little it's a little over a hundred dollars um but these are nicely sized products and this is the product that i really really wanted this honestly is called i just hurt my chin this is um, good genes. It's lactic acid treatment and it does reduce fine lines. It does. Um, am I against getting Botox? Hell no. Might I get it someday? Maybe. Yeah. These lines in my forehead, I hate them. I like, I, I, ugh. you'll see me on Instagram sometimes. I'm like smelling really big, but in my, I told this to my sister-in-law, Jen, it makes me sound horrible, but sometimes I just don't put my forehead in pictures. <laughs> I, sometimes I feel like I have a five head. Listen, I know it's a forehead. Okay. I, there are just certain things in everyone's life that they are self-conscious about. And I really hate my forehead and the wrinkles that live up there, but truly there's nothing wrong with aging. It's beautiful. And the more laugh lines you have just means that you are a funny person <laughs> and you laugh when you make other people laugh. Okay. Um, anyway, so I did want to get this product again. It just, it does make a little subtle difference and I like it. Um, and I still do have some of the products from the nighttime care routine kit. Um, but really there was nothing super amazing that I wanted to rebuy other than the good jeans. So if you were wondering how any of that went, that's how it went. Um, I still do have some things. This, the pink drink, I really did like as well. Um, so I'll just quickly go through this with you. I still do have some of this in my bedroom downstairs. Um, this is ceramic slip cleanser. It's just a cleanser. There's like, I mean, any cleanser. It's a just, it's normal. So I wouldn't spend a lot of money on that. Um, urgh, I'm trying to get the pink drink out. This, I, is it a firming thing? Yes. Um, it does firm up the skin just a bit, just a bit. There may be better products out there. Um, but I did enjoy this, but not enough to buy it on its own again. Basically why I bought another kit was because I wanted to try a few new products and this good jeans was sold out at the time that I bought this, which was, I think, boxing, in between Boxing Day and New Year, I think. Um, but it was sold out in, like, the sizes on its own. Um, I don't know if it's, like, a lot of people are just learning about it or hopefully it's not on the outs. So this one is Vitamin C CEO Brightening Serum. I haven't tried this. Come on, baby. Are you kidding me? Did you guys know you can return things to Sephora? I didn't know that. I've never returned anything. 
Are you kidding me? That's a lie, actually. I did return one thing. I did return one thing one time. It was an eyebrow pencil when I used to pencil in my eyebrows. I don't anymore. Again, it's one of those things. Okay. Ooh, this is soft. Ooh, mommy likey. My hands look kind of dirty now because I had eyeshadow on. But I am I a beauty influencer? No. <laughs> Clearly. Um, but yeah, I did return. Um, it's kind of expensive. I think it's like 30 some dollars for this eyebrow pencil. I can't even remember what it was. But when I, I ordered it online, it was broken when I got it and it wouldn't wind up at all. So I brought it back in. Or did I? Did I? I can't actually remember what I did. I probably vlogged it. It was probably like three years ago. So anyways, my memory's not great right now. But there are other things going on in my brain. Um, that's kind of cute. This is CEO Glow. In the nighttime routine one, there was like a retinol, a blue one. And I don't love it. When I put it on, I think it's good for my skin, probably. Um, but Curtis will look at me and he'll be like, why are you so shiny? Like, shining time station. <laughs> Who remembers? <laughs> so I don't know if this will be worth it either. Um, but it's nice to try things. Um, because, I don't know. I feel like if I'm bored of a routine, I don't have new things. I'll just like, ew, this is hella sticky. <laughs> You're supposed to put this on in the day? In the day? <coughs> I feel burning in the back of my throat. What is this? Instantly absorbing with advanced vitamin C. THD, not to be confused with THC, turmeric. That's exactly what it is. Friggin' turmeric. And an evening primrose oil to brighten, hydrate, and glow. Recharge your face and reduce with this glow living vitamin C oil. Massage as needed into face and neck. Do you know what Asian beetle is? Okay, they look like ladybugs, but they're Asian beetles. If you squish them, they come into your house. They're all over the Maritimes now. It's probably because of global warming. We did not have them when I was growing up. We had normal ladybugs. Okay, my hand is getting hot now. That's weird. That's weird. <laughs> That's suspicious. <laughs> um, I don't like that. But that smells like you just squished an Asian beetle. Um... I Googled this at one point because I'm like, I'm telling you, these stink. They, like uh, you kill it with a um, Kleenex or paper towel and the stink, even if you don't get the like orange goo on you, you get the stink on you. And I Googled it and it it literally is Asian beetles. Um, it's their defense mechanism. It's like a skunk bug. Okay. It gives you a stink. And I don't think I can use that. Does anybody want it? Can I even send this in the mail? I cannot use that. I literally, I gotta go wash my hands. It's disgusting. So much better. So much better. Like what in the hell were they thinking? I think it's the turmeric, which I know is good for you and everything, but dude, your face. Like, I do not wanna put that on my face. This is the good stuff. I've talked about this before, the good genes. Literally, I will continue to buy this. And of all of the things that I've tried from um, Sunday Riley, truly, this is the only thing that's been worth it for me so far. And it's fantastic. I love it. It is too expensive. But it works. Everything else, meh. But that, amazing. This, I haven't tried either. I'm excited to try these new products. It... I honestly, if I, I don't know if I finished my thought process before. Sorry, this video is going to be really long. I'm sorry if you don't like long videos. You're probably not still watching if you don't like long videos. But I'm doing plenty of short videos. And I will likely do way more short videos than long videos. So if you like long videos, give this a thumbs up. Let me know. You don't mind when I ramble. We're just hanging out, right? We're just hanging out. Um, but yeah, I will get bored of that routine. 
and I just won't do anything. I'll just go to bed with dry skin, not even hydrate it. Like I'll just be like, meh, it's not exciting to me. I like finding miracle products that make me feel better about myself. <laughs> this is autocorrect. Um, caffeine, gluten, the hell is that? Horse chestnut? That's, that doesn't seem right. Brightening and, what is, this is really hard to read because you see that gold? It's like really difficult to see the word. Depuffing. Oh, okay. Eye contour cream. Okay. Let's try it on my hand. It's coming. I can feel it. <laughs> Ooh. I can tell this is going to be good. I love illuminating products. I really do. And that's why I always look kind of glowy. Um, it's not oil usually. It's definitely not right now. I actually use the Clinique um, powder when I start to get oily. So then it just it goes back to being glowy. But I love glowy products. So I don't know that this will be worth it for me to buy. This is for your eyes, not your hands. I just don't want to mess with my face. But I do have a lot of illuminating products already. Um, and honestly, there's a lot of good illuminating products that are very expensive. So I don't even know how much this is um, on its own. I just like buying the kits because it's like treating myself and I like doing that. Okay, so let me try this Laneige. I actually have baby wipes right here and I will use one of those to clean off my beautiful summer Fridays. I hope that I love this. I don't even know what the dispenser is like. This one, you guys, it's not hard. This, do you guys remember the old glue? Like the really old glue that came in bottles with this at the tip and you would like squeeze it a little bit and then push the glue around with this soft tip. That's, it's so good. Like I love it so much and I doubt this will have the same one. I hope that I will like it because it is cheaper, but like, see, there's color coming off. I'm weird with lips and makeup and stuff, but this is honestly, I was so scared to be girly growing up. Um, I think I've only realized it um, in the last few years. I, growing up, um, I was a bigger girl. And it was just easier for me to be a tomboy. That's what we called it back then. That's probably not politically correct anymore to say that. But that's, I I wore all Nike and a lot of boys clothes. The main reason though is because boys clothes were bigger than girls clothes. And they fit me better. And when I would like try to be pretty, um, people would be like, whoa, like make a big deal out of it, you know? And it made me uncomfortable. So um, I just, I didn't really lean into that very much at all. Um, like I would put makeup on, sure, but I'd be wearing a North Carolina Tar Heels uh, men's sweater and like jeans or whatever. Like I would, a girly t-shirt or like a cute shirt, I still can't wear them. I like, am I just realizing this right now? Wow. Like when you guys see me, I'm wearing a crew neck sweater, um, hoodies, t-shirts. I can't, I can't wear I'm so uncomfortable, but I guess <sighs> growing up in the nineties, I was born in 85, um, growing up in the nineties, it was very, very much blue is for boys, pink is for girls. And if you didn't fit into either one of those categories, um, it was like confusing. My mom used to dress me and my two sisters in dresses every Sunday, um, Saturday night, bath night. 
Um, we would have a bath, wash our hair, and then mom would put our hair in ringlets. And um, I was raised so religious, you guys. It's, I still love Jesus and I always will. If you notice my shirt today, this is my favorite Bible verse. Um, look it up if you want to. Um, anyways, I still love Jesus, but I was raised too much in religion. And um, anyways, that's a different topic for another time. Um, but she would put us in these damn dresses and I hated them. Like I threw fits every Sunday morning because I was forced to wear a dress. I remember one Easter Sunday. I remember it was on Easter because mom made a huge deal of it. Huge, massive. Um, I was so uncomfortable in this Easter dress. I hated it. Um, I remember I went down to one of like the classrooms, like Sunday school classrooms in the basement of the church, got a pair of scissors <laughs> and I didn't ruin the dress. Okay. I didn't, I'm not, I was never like a bad girl. I partied a lot as a teenager, but this was before that. Um, I lifted up my dress and I cut out the crinoline because it was making me so itchy so itchy. I'm getting itchy now. I, I can't, I have like, I have issues. Okay. And maybe like a sensory thing is a thing. It's definitely OCD is it's completely anxiety. And maybe that's all it was anxiety. I had to cut that crinoline out of that dress because I would, I, I couldn't take it. Like can't take this no more. Like I, I cut that out. I cut that out, threw it in the garbage didn't tell my mom about it until like mom found the dress like later and was like, Miranda, what did you do? Like I got in trouble, but I, I've worn a dress like a handful of times in my life since I was a child. Um, and I'm just not comfortable being so girly, but I, I'm, I'm grateful that I am living in this generation now where it doesn't have to be pink or blue. It doesn't have to be. I'm very grateful for that because I do not fit in um, a stereotypical girly place. That's not, but that's okay. And I like accepting who I am and allowing myself to be who I am authentically and not try to put on something else. You know, I can't, like, I honestly, I cannot do it anymore. I just, I, I still have a really hard time talking to people in public. Um, I have really bad social anxiety, which is weird because like, I will literally be like, oh my goodness, hi. But like, I am roasting to death. Like, my underwear are soaked now because I'm sweating to death. Um, and then like after a conversation, I'll be like, oh my heck, Miranda, why did you say that? Why did you, Miranda, silence is not awkward. It's okay. You don't need to fill every empty space with words from your mouth. Like, <laughs> oh my heck, this is way more than a Sephora haul. You're welcome. Or I'm sorry, <laughs> fill in the blank yourself. Okay. Um, let's get back to business here. I like lip gloss. That's something that I like. I like to paint my nails. I also hate dresses and girly shirts. I hate bathing suits. It's not soft. That's the first, th that's the first thing that I did. It's not soft. It's not soft. So I already am like, womp womp. Like I wanted it to be good. Maybe it will. Okay. This is super pink. This is super duper pink, like Barbie pink. Curtis is literally downstairs watching a movie right now. The kids are at school. Curtis is downstairs watching Pearl Harbor, actually. He just came upstairs with a list of movies on Disney Plus that he added to his watch list. And he wanted me to look at them to see if there are any that I want to watch with him. Then he would like take it off the watch list and wait for me. Like, 
we're married clearly. Um, and he watches a lot of movies because his job sometimes he has nothing to do. Um, and now that I don't do as much, you guys should be so happy for me. I can watch movies now. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it really is. Um, I love this. Yep. It's awesome. I like, like, lip smacker upgrade, okay? Um, yeah, the the tip isn't as nice. And to be honest, I don't know if I'll buy it again. This is Laneige Glowy Lip Balm, um, your daytime solution to hydrated and tinted kissable lips. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's, like, a lot better than these ones. It's probably not. Just the tip alone, you guys. It's so soft. If you've tried it, please tell me that I'm not crazy. Please tell me that you love it too. Um, the first one I ever got was in a set. And the whole set that I got was $36. These are $30 on their own. So the first one I was reeled in by a full size $30 lip gloss. And I basically just paid like $6 for like eight other products. So they pull you in. <laughs> they pull you in. And it's very fun. But it's also, you know, not necessary. You do not need to have makeup on to be beautiful. Still learning that one myself. I am still learning that. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I made a total mess here. Um, but Curtis is probably hungry for lunch and the bus is going to be here in 45 minutes. So I'm going to end this video here. Um, I will be somewhere on the internet tomorrow, somewhere you can find me. The links are in the description. I will be back here on YouTube again soon. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.